What is up, everyone? It is Luke McGuire here. Hope you are all doing well. I'll check my webcam on quickly. And I will turn the screen off for a second. What is up, guys? Good to see you all here today. It is a beautiful day here in Australia. I'll see if you can see out the back here. Um, sun out here for once. Um, for those of you uh, that have been on the past few weeks webinars, one week it's been absolutely pouring down. The next week it is fires everywhere, cyclones, and today we've got some sun as well. And you know, like a lot of people in the world, you, we work a lot better when it is a sunny day. So good, good day, everybody. Steve, what's up? Good to see you here, my friend. Um, yeah, Steve, let, 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 shoot me an email here right now. I'll double check it for you um, straight after this. I'll do it. I might even do a live on the call for you. Um, Joe, Joy, what's up? Good to see you here. Hope everyone is doing very, very well today. Um, and today we're going to be talking. I'm just going to see which way is better. There we go. Um, we are going to be talking about the next way to make money in 2020. So just to recap, first webinar we did was covering uh, essentially the top three ways to make money online. Actually, that was the second webinar. The first webinar was on Instagram loop competitions, which Steve was asking about here. So we'll talk about that again today. Uh, for those of you that don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and check out my account. Give me a follow. We are, um, I'm up to 150,000 followers now. Um, and again, two weeks ago, I think I was at 12. So uh, that's, I, I did this on my personal account just to show you guys a different traffic method. And you can use this same method for any type of business, any fan page. But again, that's just one of many. And we're going to be covering all the different traffic methods uh, in our traffic webinar, which is going to be either next week or the week after. Again, all of these are pure value, absolutely nothing to sell trainings. So give me a five in the chat box if you appreciate that, because again, I do this for you um, because it makes me happy, makes me excited, and hopefully uh, one day you'll see enough value in what I'm teaching you that you might pick up one of my softwares if you have not already. Thank you so much, guys, in the comments. So last week we covered, we covered affiliate marketing, all right? The other two methods I told you guys are that, that are sustainable, long-term ways to make money online, uh, not just in 2020, but for many years to come, are e-commerce and local marketing. Now, the reason again why I choose these three methods or I share these three methods is because in my business, I'm a software developer at heart. That's my core business, making software for marketers. Um, got named the number one vendor uh, in the world um, for marketing software last, um, last week um, for the whole year of 2019. So that was pretty damn cool. Um, so essentially my software has helped people in all types of businesses, but these are the three that I see people building a proper asset that is not going to be here today and then gone tomorrow. Uh, and I want to go through these ways as the core foundations of online businesses. And these are businesses you can, you can do one of these, you can do all three of these, but, uh, I know a lot of you appreciated last week's webinar when we got down to the real core basics of how things work in affiliate marketing. So today we're going to jump over into e-commerce. I might even touch on a bit of local marketing today as well. But let's talk about e-commerce. So write a number um, four in the box here if you do e-commerce and send me a link to your store as well. I'd love to check it out. Um, all right, so e-commerce, right? This is going to be around forever. People are going to consume forever. Now, I'll, there's... A couple of different ways people do e-commerce, right? And we discussed this on one of the previous webinars. There's dropshipping, and then there's buying stock, right? So the two different, um, and you've probably heard of a lot of people talk about dropshipping. Uh, essentially, this is when you put an item for sale on your store. You don't have any stock. You put a mark up on the product from what the um, manufacturer and, um, sorry guys manufacturer is selling the product for uh, and then when the sale comes in you take the profit the, the cost of the product 
gets sent to the supplier, they ship pack, um, deal with refunds, etc. Right? That's drop shipping. Now, I might even make this a bit. I'll, I'll put this into a new line. I'll get to your questions here in a minute as well, guys. Um, just make this down here. Turn my webcam up for a second so you can look at the full screen view here as well. Um, now, job shipping. This is the least barrier to entry, right? So you don't need to buy any stock. You can start an e-commerce site with less than 50 bucks with stock from all around the world for any specific niche you want and you can enter the market quickly. Now, it does have the least barrier to entry, but the thing with dropshipping is you cannot brand the products, right? So if you're trying to create a brand, a brand, then this may not be for you. Now in saying that, you can have a branded store that sells a lot of, so say for example, I don't know, let's just talk about the pet niche because it's just a ridiculously profitable one. Say I wanted to create a dog store called dogheaven.com. That dog heaven can be the brand, but the items inside of the store won't be branded with dog heaven. Now, if I wanted to take it to the next level, buying stock um, and then, and reselling as your own. So the way this works is, and I'll go back in, in the two in a second, um, what size we have here. Um, so you own your brand, right? So say you're doing teeth whining, say you're doing yo-yos, say you're doing gym apparel, say you are doing, um, I don't know, it could be something like custom pillowcases, but actually not even custom pillowcases because you can even do that just with um, in a drop shipping type model. Um, gym apparel, um, clothing of any sort, fashion of any sort. Um, say you wanted to create your own power bank station, so like a power bank for your iPhone to charge your iPhone, right? iPhone chargers, right? And you can still do iPhone chargers with a drop shipping model, but say you want your own logo on it. Say you want to really create that entity that you build up uh, and then you sell as a, as a profitable business that has a loyal following, that influences you, and then that, that brand is associated with you. That is what this is. The downside with doing this is higher risk. You need to buy, buy stock, you need to pack and ship, you need to pay import taxes, depending on where you live in the world. I know here in Australia, if you're importing stuff um, for commercial use, even if you send it back out of the country, you're still paying tax on it, um, import taxes. Um, and then you, you are down to minimum order quantity. So MOQ is minimum order quantities. Because a lot of, if you're trying to create your own brand with your own brand, put on a box or put on a product or whatever it is, it's usually um, the manufacturer is gonna want you to buy a couple of hundred of whatever it is you're trying to create. Now I'm gonna go into some live examples of this in just a minute and then it'll make a lot more sense as we go through this, but and, and from what I've just shown you, that the dropshipping model obviously is going to appeal to a lot more of you, but um, but there are also benefits for buying your own stock, right? Um, so this could be um, uh, essentially when, when you do buy your own stock, you get a cheaper price. The more you buy, the cheaper the product gets, right? So whenever you do buy an actual physical product that's branded with a higher order quantity, you're gonna get a better price than you would with the drop shipping model here that allows you just to buy one item of, of some random brand or even a completely anonymous brand. Um, but um, you do get a cheaper price when you buy bulk here. Um, and I guess the, you, you can, 
then build a brand that has value in that brand, right? So one example I did use the other week was the guys at High Smile. So before I go into that, let's talk about that. this. Where do you then find the products to put on your store, right? And then we'll talk about how do you even create a store and stuff shortly. Um, but let's just start off here with the basics. So if you want to do drop shipping, AliExpress.com. AliExpress is where you want to go. Let me just title this e-commerce drop shipping webinar one. Um, and then here, if you want to buy custom white labeled stock, you would go to www.alibaba.com, right? Um, so let's just go to these two sites directly here. Now, there obviously are other places where you can find these type of products, but these are the two monsters of the world. Um, Express. So let me show you an example here of what I mean. Say in AliExpress, which is the uh, dropshipping site, so I type in teeth whitening. You can see here, this teeth whitening kit here, um, $1.77 to $8.29, depending on how many you actually buy. This one here, free shipping, but this one has eight, 81 cents shipping per item by the looks of it. Um, this one here, $1.59 to $6.99 with free shipping and even free returns. So this looks like a better business to be going with than this one over here. Um, and again, when, when they send this package out, let's have a look at see what this uh, is. So remember, this is dropship. This isn't going to be branded. So this is just a completely blank item. It doesn't even come in a box by the look of it. It's just going to be all that chucked together in an envelope, right? And you can see here what's included. And, and but what I can do right away from this, sign up uh, with an AliExpress account, I can go ahead and add this item onto my store. So say I had a niche store. So let's go back over here. Drop shipping works great with niche specific stores. What I mean by this is, say Dog Paradise, Beauty Haven, um, Football Fanatics, com whatever right um that's another one saying adhd kids right i saw a story that i have adhd and i saw one the other a story the other day i had this site that was uh selling all of these different type of adhd uh, um fidgety things right so let me see if i can adhd see if anything comes up here yeah see all these little adhd things like little clickers and stuff to keep people focused and, and keep them fidgeting, getting distracted with different things, right? Store that just sold all of these things and then displayed Facebook ads and Instagram ads to people that have ADHD or people that get distracted with the comments or something saying, tag someone who just can't stop fidgeting, right? And then the audience around the world was tagging people, the exact market of people that would want this. When that person was tagged, they had an automated chatbot respond to every one of those people tagged in the comments. Uh, that would then say, hey, you can check out our, all our ADHD products here on our site. And I'm going to show you how you can just set up, set up something so uh, functional and basic like that, right? So uh, there we go. So um, let's just go back to the teeth whitening example quickly. Now, if we go over here into Alibaba, let me just quickly show again here. So again, if I sold this one here, I, this product is going to be sent out with this brand, Advanced Teeth Whitening. That's how it's going to come in that box with this brand. And yes, it's only going to cost you 11 bucks, right? But if I do it over here, I say I wanted to take one of these boxes, private logo, I could have this product
being made with my own design and logo on here, right? Now, when you contact these suppliers, you can just simply just go out and message them or write away. Even though they say certain things on here, sometimes it might be a bit different. So say here, it says 10 boxes is the minimum order quantity, which is actually quite low, right? But you need to think about the expenses that's gonna add up when you, when you say, okay, that's how much for the actual item. Then when I ship it to my country, then when I have to pay tax if I do or don't, um, or you can, sorry, you can see here, customized logo is going to be, um, it's going to be 500 boxes, right? So 500 boxes at between $3 to $8.50, right? Um, it can add up to a couple of grand just there right away, but you are then building a brand. You're building a brand that you can then sell. Now I'm going to show you if you're building a brand, you, let me put this here as all my notes. If you are building a brand, um, you want your products to be the best in the space, right? You want to be the best in the space or you want to position yourself to be the exclusive brand to go to for what it is you are offering. Um, so let me show you an example of someone that did this, which is the high smile guys, high smile teeth whitening so you can see here 80 bucks a thing they've also now gone into toothpaste they've gone into pink toothpaste they've gone in whitening pens so i wanted a whitening pen like that you just got teeth whitening pen it's like the exact same pen that they're selling on their site, right? Um, if I type in teeth whitening pen on AliExpress, you can see here, these are already pre-branded ones or even no branded pens, but it doesn't have the exclusivity and the, I guess essentially the feel good sides of things where people like to be attached to brands. Consumerism has, has just got their claws into everyone, right? So, um, and the thing with beauty products as well is beauty products make people feel good. They even have a sense of confidence when they're buying a specific product. So that's why these guys can charge 80 bucks for a, three things of teeth whitening plus a little light. Um, that it's gonna be the same thing as this, five bucks essentially. Um, but I believe what these guys actually have done, these are just done guys, I think they're at 25, 26 here. Um, they live in the Gold Coast where I live. They've built this into a $40 million a year empire. Uh, it's just absolutely booming. One of, one of my other friends actually as well owns Snow White Teeth Whitening. Let me just Google it one second. I don't think I, I think that could be an imposter. Try snow. Yeah, so my other friend owns um, this business, right? And he just started the same thing, bought stock, simple white box, but probably the exact same thing as the other one, just a different style light. Um, and now I believe they've got themselves into some of the biggest um, stores in the world, right? Um, they got, and, and what the very common thing with these two businesses, how they've built them is through using influencers and through using celebrities. So you can see all the different people down here um, that have used their product. Um, have a look at their Instagram here, and then we'll have a look at, see so this is just an imposter by the look of it. Um, I smile, teeth, whiten. Oh, sorry, Instagram. That's pretty sad that um, the snow teeth whitening isn't on, isn't on Instagram on their actual website. And uh, when I talk about local marketing, that's a perfect example of a client you can reach out to that has a lot of money that you can fix little things for them that they, that they will then take your services on. Let 
maybe their Instagram has been deleted. No, that's not them. And you know what, maybe it's just been deleted very, very recently. So this is an impostor page by the look of it, um, but it's still sharing their product. But these guys had a million followers as well. But let's have a look at High Smiles for now. Um, so you can see here, these guys, 1.3 million followers, absolutely dominating. And the whole process here, whenever I talk about content, so let me, I'm just gonna write this separately down here as well. Content on social. The whole process when you're posting so social media content is to provide value and indirectly sell. So you wanna provide some sales content of your product. It could be through influencers, could be through Valentine's Day sales, could be through um, flash sales, whatever it is, right? Some sales content, but not too much. People aren't on social media to be sold to. Websites are used to sell. Social media is used to build an audience. So how do you do that and indirectly sell? Influencers. Influencers is a big one uh, with um, any form of e-commerce product, right? Um, you want to then provide value on the niche you are in, right? So if I'm doing teeth lightning, I want to then just share some content talking about general oral care, telling, talking about how you can improve your teeth from home. Um, anything like that, right? You want to post funny content. It's amazing how much posting funny content from a branded Instagram account, or even your personal one, can really build a relationship. This builds trust, builds a relationship. Um, and puts you at top of mind. Because again, when you post funny content as well, it can tend to go viral, people will send it around. So it could just be a funny meme, it could be a funny video, whatever it might be. Providing funny content, I find, from all the businesses I've worked with over the years, uh, and not all the time, because you don't want to make the Instagram account be like a joke, um, or your Facebook account or your ads or whatever it is, but you, it just shows more of a personal side to what um, people have, um, to what most businesses do. A lot of businesses just post sales, 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 right? Um, and uh, then you obviously want to provide the key benefits, not, not features, of your product. What I mean by that, I mean that no one actually cares about features essentially, right? If I'm teeth whining, people don't care if I have 10% hydrogen peroxide, I guess, essentially. But what they do care about is how many shades lighter their teeth can be. Don't make it about the product, make it about the benefit to them, right? So let's have a look at um, what this one here says. Breath spray, gets rid of bad breath, benefit, right? And then, so the benefit first, followed by the features. Pink toothpaste, sensitive teeth, benefit for them. And then the features as well. So lead with the features, um, lead with the benefits, follow up with the features. Um, but again, you can see here, they got some funny content, some just general memes, chocolate plus red wine. Let's see what this description is. Plenty of Valentine's Day using emojis. Just general, basic content, right? And they've got probably hundreds and hundreds of comments of people doing this, right? Let me see how many comments they got. Same three comments on that one there. Um, this one over here, giveaway, look, boom, 3,000 comments. And you can see here, it's a mix between product, giveaways, funny, uh, and these guys just do a really good job of uh, demonstrating this. So that is pretty cool. Now, if I want to talk about the next, part of e-commerce. People then always ask me, okay, so I can I see how I can get the comp, the product on uh, AliExpress, I see how I can get it on Alibaba, but what or how um, do I find products that are trending or that I think are gonna work, right? And it doesn't just need to be one product. Remember, let's, um, if you're gonna buy stock, you can do it that, you can um, focus on that one niche. I know High Smile just started with teeth whitening, um, Trays just literally like off here. One second, the dog's going crazy. Um, and uh, 
they started with this and then they ventured into the other areas as well. So um, pretty cool concept uh, of what they've done there. But when you are doing drop shipping, niche specific stores are the way to go in my opinion. Now the reason behind that is, and that's, uh, let's just talk about that for here because I, I reckon most people are gonna be starting this or just trying this out in the actual drop shipping space because there is no cost to you to start. Um, you can trial many products, right? You can add, um, without any risk. If you did that with stock, you'd have to buy thousands of different things and just see what sells, at least with drop shipping, you can try many things at once without any risk. Um, So let's just go, let's, let's just focus on AliExpress for the minute. So you can see here on the left, there is so much, so many categories, so many products that you can create a niche store in absolutely any field you want, outdoor sports, fishing reels, fishing lures. Let's see what we've got under fishing lures. You can see here, you can segment it out according to the newest, that's what the newest are, the newest ones. And when you go on newest, you can often find products that have just come out that haven't even started to trend yet. But what I like to always do is replicate what's working right now or what's that what's been proven to work in the past for many, many years. So copy what works, don't reinvent the wheel. Um, and uh, if I created a, if I'm into fishing, I could create a fishing store, add all these products very, very quickly. Now, when I, when I talk about adding products, let's just talk about the, the different ways to create a store. Um, stores. Uh, there's lots of different products out there that you can create e-commerce stores on. The two key ways I would recommend is either using Shopify or using WordPress with WooCommerce, right? These are the two methods. Shopify is probably gonna be the easiest way for you to get started with the fastest momentum uh, so that you don't get stuck and then move on to something else because it's all just become a bit too hard. Now, uh, I'm gonna talk about these two platforms in, in one of our later um, e-commerce webinars, but uh, I'm, I've got a free um, trial that you guys can use for Shopify. I will email that out after today's webinar um, that you can give it a shot uh, when you like. And uh, I'm, I'm then also going to actually send you guys a webinar replay that I did at the end of last year um, with one of my good friends that makes millions. And he's actually the only Shopify uh, endorsed um, e-commerce trainer in the world. He's got the only course that's been approved by Shopify he makes that much money with the most ridiculous things. Like he makes 300 grand on just one of his stores um, a year or it's either a month or a year, but either way, it's just selling cat socks. And he goes to here, cat socks. Has a whole store with just all of these cat socks on there. Advertises to people that have cats. Boom, then he, there he goes. He then has subsections in that store of the different breeds of cats. Um, he then probably does, like you could, and you could do this with dog socks, right? Or dog socks in men's socks. Anything you can imagine is gonna be on here. Right? I'm probably even talking like pig shirt. Everything you can imagine is gonna be on this site. It's really actually quite scary how many products are out there. And remember, these only get added to your store and you only pay for the shirt once someone's made an order. So I put the shirt on my, on my store for 20 bucks. It's gonna cost me about six bucks, six bucks to 10 bucks probably uh, on average here. Um, and the money gets sent directly to the supplier. You keep the profit instantly. They do all the work for you and it's very, very simple to run. Now, again, I know I'm moving fast here, but to teach you this properly, uh, it's gonna take a couple of webinar sessions here. 
But what I'm just going to do is just send you the training that I've already done in the past at the end of last year. So it's still very new and it's the exact same training as what I teach you right now, showing you a bit more in depth here now on how to do that. Um, so again, uh, this is again the offer. And remember, I always say that every single offer needs traffic because an offer without any traffic is useless and traffic without an offer is useless as well. So in this series that I've been doing with you guys, we're talking about the offers uh, first uh, and then we're gonna move into the traffic. But I did share with you that loop competition giveaway that blew my Instagram up to 150,000 followers in just a couple of weeks. Massive, massive traffic method there. Um, but we're gonna go further into that as well. And yeah, Corey, that is very correct. He's my good friend, Adrian, that, that does that. Um, so let's, uh, let's go have a look into some live stores. Who here would like to see some live stores, see how much money they're making, really see how this works, see their stores set up uh, and uh, essentially show you how you can replicate it. Write me in the box below if that would be you. I'm just gonna have a sip. I'm just gonna go grab, grab a water really quickly um, and then we'll get into that here. But so write any questions you have as well. I'll be literally one minute, Max. Thanks guys. Sorry about that. Cool, let's get into that now. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so there's a few ways you can uh, find these stores. One, you can just literally type in into Google Cat Shopify store. So I'm just going to Google. So let's have a look at some of these ones here. A cat store. It's crazy. It's under, and then you can just keep it so simple. You can just Google a cat store or whatever niche it is, a, a tennis and type in Shopify store, right? Now, if I just call it plastic cat toys feather funny. <laughs> um, let's click out some of these tabs. Yeah, look, boom, 59 cents to 91 to, to 91 cents, right? And these guys are selling them so cheap. So they're selling it for $1.99. Yeah, so these guys are making almost no profit on that at all, which is just weird. Maybe these guys haven't done this properly, right? Um, let me type in. So these guys are selling up. I've got a feeling that this store actually hasn't even um, made any money from those prices. They're almost exactly the same. They make a little bit of profit, but almost next to nothing. Um, or they're just using some software which has generated this stuff. So you can play around and see what works here. So cat shirts, see very basic store again. I don't know why it always goes to that browser. Um, niche cat store. And that's for a demo of an actual cat store. Let's see if they've got some examples here. And you can play around with it. Now, this is what I would use to do. I would always just go in and try to find actual um, cat products or different types of products and find their stores just by Googling them out like we just found a few then. So that's why I created my tool Advert Suite. So we're just gonna go ahead and use that now. But if you don't have Advert Suite, you can, you can pick it up at advertsuite.com if you wanted to. 
Um, but I'll just show you an example here why I created this software and why it was the world number one software um, in 2019. Uh, so what this talk, what this actual product does, right? It goes out and grabs every Facebook, Instagram, Google, and YouTube ad in the world. We add over 10,000 ads into this every single day. So if I want to search for, and again, you can use this for any platform whatsoever. Say um, I was using this, using this yesterday to help one of my good friends who's a real estate agent here. Uh, and we wanted to have, uh, to find all the ads that were for Ray White, which is a real estate agency here in Australia, right? So I'm now going to sort the ads by the ones that have the most likes, for example. You can select the country uh, that the ads are being displayed in. Um, but I'm just going to just give you guys a very generic overview here. So I've searched for the advertiser, Ray White. So Ray White Hong Kong, Ray White. Um, and I can just scroll down and it's going to show me all these different real estate agents, the ads they're running, the type of videos they're doing. And I can segment these to see which ones have the most engagement compared to the least. So now I know what the market likes to engage with. And it's, and I can look at everyone else spending money so I don't have to, right? So that's an example of just that for local marketing, right? Now, we did affiliate marketing last week. So say I wanted to do that for keywords, keyword type, add text. So I want to have a look at all the make money online products that go to a ClickFunnels site. If you don't know what ClickFunnels is, uh, it's one of the leading just uh, page builders or website builders for single page opt-ins, single page signups, or just generic sales pages in general um, that will then funnel you through. Um, add text, make money, sort by the most likes. So you can see here we've got Russell Brunson who owns ClickFunnels is one of the top ones here. Dan Locke giving his free book away. Uh, here's the affiliate offer for a note to stop drinking. So if I wanted to see what this would look like um, for the non-drinking one, I can then see the ad itself, what they've said. I can click on this to see the landing page it goes to, who they've targeted. So they've targeted this ad specifically to female, females in the US between 25 to 34. So now I know that this type of ad works really well for females in the USA between 25 to 34. And this is the page here that they've built in ClickFunnels. Um, very simple drag and drop builder, but there's some other ones out there that I personally think are better like ConvertTrick, but we're not gonna go into all that today. Um, but you can see here, that's the funnel. So then when I to go ahead and take the challenge, I can then be taken towards this to buy it, right? That's their funnel and it's got some massive, massive engagement on it, right? So the same thing then would go for a make money online product like Anthony Morrison's here. Who is giving away its free ebook targeting both men and women? And there's more women engaging with this ad than men in all those countries shown down below here and these age groups here. So if I click on that, and we can see his page here, it's a simple opt in here. Now, what would happen is I would then opt in here, he would then funnel me, which means follow up from here once I've got, once it's on my email, with then more free training, free content, and then most likely an offer of some sort that relates to what it is I've been trying to learn. So that's his way to do it. And again, if, you, if you're doing affiliate marketing, like we discussed last week, uh, Anthony, um, you actually partner with him, sell his high ticket products. All you need to do is send the traffic to a page like this through your link, and then you'll make 50% commissions uh, I believe it's 50, um, otherwise it's 40, but it's 40 or 50% commissions. Not just any not just any product you buy from this one funnel, but any of his products for the lifelong duration of his business. And he does all the converting for you. So it's a real, and what I might even do, I'll send that replay out after this as well. So you can see exactly how that works and how you can even partner uh, with Anthony, who's um, one of uh, the biggest internet marketers in the, in the entire world. Um, and also one of my very, very good friends. So that's another example there, but um, we're talking about e-commerce, so let's not get too sidetracked. And I'm gonna show you here, we've got this e-commerce platform drop down. So 
These are the three biggest shopping carts, Shopify, Magneto, WooCommerce. I wrote down over here before, Shopify um, and WordPress with WooCommerce. Uh, the other way, again, is Magneto as a shopping cart. But again, Shopify is gonna be the easiest way for you to get started. I'll send a free trial for that out after today's webinar. So say I just wanted to find Shopify ads, right? That have been running the longest. And I don't even want to search for a keyword yet. Just ask when I see all products that go to a Shopify store that have been running the longest. So this Lotus Flower Ring. Now, when you are doing drop shipping, you want to have a high perceived value, but low stock, low item cost. Now that's the great thing with things like pet clothes or jewelry or necklaces or trinkets or um, if a movie's coming out, I often see little keychains that might have your favorite football team or um, superhero on the key ring or shirt or whatever it might be. If there's an emotional side behind the purchase. That means you can charge more because they have an emotional attachment to it. People don't care about spending more money on a hose for you to water your garden because there's no emotional attachment there, right? And even if that, um, and even even if that hose does cost um, does cost more than what a little trinkety ring might be that might look crap it's more functional the hose is going to get you more better things in life people are going to buy the ring that says i love you on it uh, or has a star sign on it because they're emotionally attached to it so let me just click out of these browsers so we don't get too many things up here so let's have a look at this ring and we're going to read more here a lotus flower has been a respected symbol of purity, beauty, and rebirth. I believe that it represents how difficulties can bring um, forth the majestic transformation. Blah, blah, blah. Get this silver triple wrap lotus ring to, for 50% off. So that's marketing right there. It's only 50% off. So let me put my webcam on. It's, uh, it's only 50% off, guys, because they are just. Um, it's probably never been the full price. That that's just their marketing slang here. Grab yours now. They put their link in the bio here. So the reason they've done that here is because this ad. Whenever you do a Facebook or Instagram ad, uh, let me. I might even just show you real quick. Hold on. I know we're jumping around, but I want to give you guys just a clear as much little valuable things as I can. If you've never done a Facebook ad before, I'm going to be teaching this on our own traffic paid ads method in a few weeks, but I thought I might as well just share this with you right now. This is going to tell, it's going to say here, what is your marketing objective? Brand awareness, reach, traffic, engagement, video views, app installs, conversions, right? All these different methods are going to cost you different amounts of money depending on what which one you choose. Some of these are going to cost you a lot more than another type of ad, right? And the rule of thumb here is if the ad um, objective that you are choosing is going to take the user off Facebook or Instagram to your website, so it's a clickable ad, uh, the whole image is clickable, it says shop here, learn more here, whatever it is, it's going to cost you a lot, literally dramatically a lot more money because Facebook says, okay, well, we want our users on Facebook, we don't, we don't want them leaving, but, if, but we'll, we'll let you have them but we're gonna charge you for them, for that to get taken off, right? So a conversion ad or a traffic ad, for example, is going to send, is the objective is to send traffic off Facebook. So these type of ads are gonna cost more. Whereas a brand awareness ad or a video ad or a reach ad, for example, or even an engagement ad, that type of ad 
is not focused on taking users off Facebook. It's, it's getting them to be engaged with the ad itself or just to see that ad a lot of times. Now, the guess the way around this is to still get people to come to your website. There's a couple of ways people do it, but let me just show you this example here. If I want to click on this one, I'll show you what it looks like on Facebook. So when this gets boosted and displayed in people's news feeds, right, or as displayed as an ad, there's no, this image isn't clickable. There's no shop now or learn more or anything like that that you would see, right? But they put the link in the bio of the ad, in the ad text. So people will then click on this and you pay a lot less money for that. Now, what people, what some ads I see that I do, that I like, I like a lot. They say tag someone who would love this. People then tag the person who would love this, and then they have an automated chatbot that automatically responds to every comment. Now, if you want an automated chatbot like that, there are many out there. I actually built one called Inboxer.com. Uh, it's a one-time small investment. I think it's around fifty bucks or something like that, um, and it allows you to do this right so it allows you to go in uh, and claim this offer i haven't cleaned my cash which means the christmas offer is still displaying here but if you guys want the christmas offer i'll let you have that 35 percent off as well so if you've already got it applied 47 bucks one time unlimited fan pages unlimited broadcasts uh, and you can just use inboxer.com i-n-b-o-x-r.com um, and that's going to allow you then to have these automated responses and also uh, to inbox anyone that comments on your on your posts uh, inbox anyone that messages you with automatic responses um, again i use inboxer uh, for a lot, a lot of local clients um, to set it up as a chatbot for that for high-end businesses like hotel chains because a lot of people are just messaging facebook fan pages these days um, to get information even to the extent where well, I haven't noticed myself the other week to a, to a local restaurant, right? So uh, automatically um, responds to every single person here. And then when more people engage, the more automatic comments come out, the more Facebook says more people are engaging with this that type of ad, the less they're then gonna charge you because that Facebook likes content that people engage with. Because when people engage, it shows they like it. They wanna then be on Facebook more because they're seeing content they like, right? So. Um, you can see this is all here. And, and actually, by the looks at some of these comments, um, these are all automatically responded to. So uh, these people aren't even doing it the most efficient way, the efficient way they could be. But let's just have a look at this person's site quickly. And let's see how much money they're making roughly. Silver wrap lotus ring for 50 bucks. Let me go over AliExpress. Let's see if we can even find it here. Look. Three dollars thirty nine here, All right? And this ad has hundred thousand likes, four thousand plus comments, three four thousand shares almost, um, and they're making fifty bucks, right? If you buy two, you save that. Blah 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 blah. And this with the engagement that's on this type of ad. And because I searched for running longest in advert suite, I then know that this person has made a lot of money because they've been running it for months. And this is a relatively new ad. You can see here it was only done, uh, it was last seen in November 29. So this type, um, uh, this ad is still being very profitable right now, right? Um, so you can see here, let's scroll down further and further. This one's here, February 10, 2020. Let's see what this product is here. But no, like actually, before I do that, let's just do an example here. So it costs three bucks, right? On AliExpress, three dollars. Let's just say it's four dollars, right? Four dollars, including shipping. So, and I could probably even find other vendors if I just typed in Lotus Ring. Yeah, here's another one, three dollars with free shipping. Let's just say three dollars then, right? So they're making 
So 49 bucks, say 50 bucks. And then if they want to add in these upsells here, but just let's just say 50 bucks minus $3, um, $47, $47 profit per ring sold. High perceived value, very low cost. Now, we said we saw that there was a hundred thousand likes on this post. That means there's probably a million plus people that have even that have seen this ad. A lot of them would have clicked on the link uh, and they have and they've probably purchased direct. A lot of people don't even have to engage with them. They just go, okay, I'm gonna click on this and buy it, right? Um, so just say I set this up right now and I sold 800 rings over a year by just setting this up once and then doing a single ad. And this is only one ad we are showing you. Out of the 100,000 likes here, the million plus people that have probably seen it, 800 people buy. That means you will make around $37,000 profit, not, not revenue, profit from this one item. That is just insane from one item on one Facebook post that's been advertised, right? Very, very crazy. Write, write me in the box if that's pretty damn impressive. I know that's, but I think that's pretty damn amazing. And you can just do this over and over again. Look at this stainless steel piece of jewelry here. Um, here's a spiritual seven chakra healing crystal bracelet. Let's just do this as another example real quick. Two bucks, right? Is that the same thing? Essentially the same, is it? Yes, yeah, it's, it's the exact same product. So two bucks here. This item here, high perceived value because it's got the chakra uh, emotional purchase side to it as well. They've done the same thing, link in the actual bio. Still being ran this year, so we know it's going to be a good seller. I can see the audience that's engaging with it, more so women than men, age groups that they're targeting. Let's go have a look at their site. Again, I think it's actually the same buyer, the same seller actually as the, as the Lotus Ring. 50, 44 bucks, right? So 45 bucks. Two dollars profit. Now this ad had, I think it had around a hundred thousand likes on it. Yeah, ninety-six thousand likes. So only five hundred people bought this, right? At forty-three bucks profit. Twenty-one thousand dollars. Twenty-one thousand five hundred dollars profit from an item that you don't touch, you don't see, you don't have anything to do with. These guys in just these two products. That's what fifty, sixty thousand dollars completely automated. Or you don't see the product, you don't touch it, you don't need any stock, you just need a simple, a damn simple page like this. It's got a bit of scarcity and you can see the type of thing. And now this is what I wanted to then discuss quickly here. Now, people just think, and I see this a lot when people teach dropshipping, find the thing online, sell it on a page, do a Facebook ad, then you're done, right? Now, the money is in the upsells here. And that's what I wanted to discuss with you here. So you can see how this, and they've even got to unlock 10% off. So to unlock 10% off, they want to be a part of my, I, I want to have them send me updates, which means they, I'm a part of their chatbot, right? Just like you can do with Inboxer. This is exactly the same as what Inboxer does, right? 50 bucks, you can get that feature added on there as well um, from inboxer.com, imboxr.com. Um, but, this is just two examples. And what I might even do is have a look at the other products they've got here. I love your mum necklaces, rings, so on and so forth. Feature, let's see what's featured. Now, I, I just saw that, and you can see all these items are just from AliExpress. I guarantee it. And they've just added them on here once and then they promote an individual post discussing about it to the right market, and then they're making bank. It's a niche store about protecting jewelry um, or like this project yourself. So jewelry that's gonna have some emotional part to it, 
that then gives you good vibes, good energy and so on and so forth. And these guys are making bank on it. Now, what would happen when you buy one of these items, you're then gonna be upsold into something else. They might say, people that bought this also like this. If you bought a bracelet, you might wanna ring as well. And they're going to upsell you. So that individual purchase will then turn into a multi, uh, a multi level um, purchase essentially. So even if you just get them in at that $40 price, usually, well, I think there's the stats of something, I think it's around 60% of people that make a purchase will then buy something five times more expensive within the next three weeks related to that niche. And I think it's 8% of people buy something 20 times more expensive in that specific niche. So you may as well be the person offering those other offers. And when people are in a buying mindset for a specific niche, They've made that individual purchase. They're so much more likely to buy something else. So in those two examples I just showed you there, we showed you the live traffic of people engaging with this. These, these guys are spending money on this ad right now. They know this item is selling. If I then funneled them from buying this one to then buying the ring, then showing them a few different options, it's going to make your actual um, overall uh, value of that customer a lot more. And then when they purchase, you've got their email, you can follow up with them a week later, two weeks later. And with a high perceived value, but a low investment, it means your ad cost, the money you invest into your ads, if you're spending $43, which is the profit, you should be making a couple of sales at least. And the beautiful thing about using Advert Suite, using Advert Suite, allows you to see what is working right now, what people are spending money on right now, what ads are converting right now, not just for Facebook, but for Instagram as well, for Google, YouTube. Um, the Instagram, Google, and YouTube is an upgrade. I think it's a one-time fee of 50 bucks, or it might even be less than that, 50, 50, 60 bucks, I believe, if you wanted Instagram as well, and Google and YouTube, but they're all combined. Um, but the front end gives you Facebook, which gives you the core um, place that people do advertise on. But let's have a look at um, Shopify, Sort by running longest. And you can see the different type of niche of people. See, see, look at this. Claim your free custom piece now. So it says it's now yours for serious. So these guys are doing a free plus shipping model, most likely. So they're saying get this for free with your custom letters. Just pay shipping. They might charge you 20 bucks for shipping. So if I went to AliExpress, maybe I said custom necklace and these guys can even customize little individual pieces for you like this because these type of items it's just putting a few letters together that they've probably already manufactured i don't know why there's one that says daddy that's a bit weird but um this looks pretty cool this one here one dollar to four dollars right and they can all be customized and you can use your own logo and this is how fast this industry is moving. Before, maybe five years ago, you wouldn't have been able to do custom individual pieces like this. Now you can do so without buying any stock when the order comes in and you just literally integrate it here with AliExpress. Now I'll do a webinar showing you how to create the, the Shopify store with integrating it and grading it with these type of products. But there's a lot of information on the internet already about that. It's very simple. A lot of people do do this. The problem is people don't choose the right products. They're not onto the right trends. So um, what essentially this allows you to do with Advert Suite is seeing what trends are working right now uh, and what products are selling right now. And then it gives you the ability to then go onto these people's stores and see how they've even designed the store. Um, let me just click on this one here. This person's doing a watch. This person doing watches, right? One of my friends that does a watch store like this, he absolutely kills it. And these type of stores, they they kind of almost look like a ripoff of AP, right? But I'm sure I could do. I can. I should go in here and type in men's watch. Three dollars, four dollars. 
Apple Watch replica that looks kind of cool, right? $2.70. You could sell that for 30 bucks, 40 bucks, and you could just sell on the angle of people that can't afford an iPhone watch, but they still want the look of it to look cool and trendy because commercialism's sucked into everyone, right? Uh, and you could make a page very, very simple to this selling these type of items. There's a one with a lighter, that's a bit dodgy, right? Um, yeah, Corey says, do you manually have to place your custom orders? Um, so, uh, no, so I, I, you can integrate it completely. So if there's a custom order, we'll go across, look at this, Rolex ripoff, that's, Ridiculous how much of a Rolex that looks like. Um, oh my God. Seriously, people these days are just going crazy with these type of watches. But for 23 bucks, people are going to spend 100 bucks for that because they can't afford the 10, 20 grand um, 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 day date um, of this, right? So you could, and you could probably even have this branded if you wanted to. Um, but again, Always, it's, 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 it even says day date, but it's a random brand. See, the one thing I'd say with these, I don't know what the laws are because that does looks like an absolute rip of a Rolex. But you know, I don't know um, if they've got patents on what these things look like, and I presume if they're on AliExpress, I, you would hope that they um, cover all the terms and conditions. So it's twenty six bucks for a diamond out one here, obviously fake diamonds, but that's going to sell to a specific market as well. So um, that's a ba basic uh, overview there. So what I want to do, I don't, we've been going, how long are we going now? For about an hour, about an hour and four minutes. So that's how like, quick, I want to keep this quick and fast because I want to keep the momentum going. The whole process with these couple of webinars is to get you right, get you into thinking which area do I want to try first? You can do all of them if you wanted to, but try in one area first. I know this is going to appeal to a lot of people. Affiliate marketing, marketing is going to appeal to a lot of people. Uh, and so is our local marketing. So again, have a think about these. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, send you guys a replay of the uh, going into more depth of the two webinars I did in December, uh, focusing on e-commerce specifically. Um, and from there, uh, we will um, move forward. So again, next week we're gonna talk about local marketing. Then what we're gonna do is go into traffic methods. We're gonna, then gonna go into traffic methods covering all the different ways you can get traffic to your Shopify store, to your local client's business, to your affiliate link to get people to opt into an affiliate offer um, because um, promoting, if you're promoting, I don't know, say a weight loss product or how to train your dog or how to learn Japanese or whatever product it is you want to actually promote that there's someone in the expert of their field, but you're just, uh, you can bank on it because you're sending the person that's ready to buy. Um, so, and saying that guys, I'll finish this up here. I'll send this replay out. I didn't send yet last week's replay out yet. I had to edit something quickly in it. I'll have these both out today, plus a lot more stuff. I appreciate you all. Uh, and I will speak to you guys directly. Uh, if you have any questions, by the way, go to my Instagram account, instagram.com forward slash Luke McGuire. Shoot me a message there. Steve, shoot me, if you can just follow up on my Instagram one more time, that'd be great. I'll see you next week. Uh, until then, have a great day. Thanks guys, bye.